really just figuring out the formula, baby. It's like, it's like the Krabby Patty formula out here. The Krabby Patty. It's Tula Antonia here, coming to you guys alive and well on this uh, Monday. Uh, if you're new here, hello. I make lifestyle, entrepreneurial, and travel videos. If any of that interests you, go ahead on and hit that subscribe button. Join the party down below. And hit the notifications bell as well so you can be notified when I upload. Um, as you guys can see, I'm just in my little area in my apartment right now um i really wanted to come to you guys and show you that i'm going to be doing a little bit more um with my small business because i was just watching this girl i stumbled upon this girl's page yesterday because i was looking up um like small business like day in the life of small business owner type vlogs because i kind of missed out on that and i was um, at first, I was watching like studio vlogs and honestly, some of that content really, it really inspires me and I missed being subscribed to those girls, the creative girls that, you know, they bring you on their journey of their business and just seeing their growth and seeing all the behind the scenes of what goes into their actual business and getting a product to the customer. All of that really always inspired me. So I kind of want to get back into those videos. Um, if you scroll down like to a few months ago, I've had, I have like um, a gloss vlog series that I used to do and I think I want to get back into those because it's kind of like an entrepreneurial vlogs or videos where you can be like a day in the life or a week in the life of a small business owner and you can, um, I can basically direct my entrepreneurial fans or my entrepreneurial people to those videos so that you know they can get a little bit of that uh content out as well as regular vlogs for people that are interested in my personal life and things like that so yeah i think i really want to get back into that because that really drives me and i noticed that i really feel uh, i feel my most alive when i am um doing my own you know of course putting my all into my business really just kind of using all of my work ethic towards that and really making sure that that's thriving as much as I can because I always like whenever I find myself working for other people and just um had a job I just know that I'm always you know I'm never really going to be as happy as I can and even then it's like I'm just always thinking about what I could be doing and usually that is me putting effort into my small business but then whenever I have the time on my hands to do that it's like I used to get caught up in dreading and not feeling you know like feeling um feeling like 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 I'm I don't know like you just feel bad for using your alone time to just really just be alone and just be down using your downtime as downtime but I just really saw this video and it was just like honestly black women straight up stop applying for jobs or something like that it was titled and um it was just saying how like this this work ethic and all these great ideas that we have we usually put into working at another job and all this types of stuff but in reality we want to be putting all this effort into our own businesses and that's it. and if we were actually able to put in all of this effort into our own businesses how much uh more successful they would be and she was also talking about how black excellence goes how it's universal and how basically if you are you if you think you have a great idea or an idea that you've just been procrastinating about for the longest or you've never given yourself permission to finally attempt this idea then I think you should go for it because honestly we all we really do have amazing great ideas and it's just like most of the time we might not have the money or the support to actually get it going but sometimes you have to be that 
and I've always been you know of course I still have my parents and things like that family that supports me but like I've always been my support as well and always believed in myself to a point where I know that whatever I set my mind to, I will achieve it. If it's not within, you know, it might not be within the time frame that you expect for yourself, but at some point I'm going to get to it, you know? And honestly, if you believe it, you definitely can do it. You will align, you will literally align your energy to getting this stuff done. But the same thing will happen if you tell yourself that you can't. And I think I'm, I've finally given myself permission to put my all into my business, my passions and my goals. And then, you know, cause my horoscope is always telling me to, to basically starve your distractions and feed your focus. And if you see me looking over here, honestly, I literally put a lot of um, quotes that I, that stick with me and just like, I've been using these sticky notes to the max girl. I got these new sticky pads <laughs> and I just found them in the back of my drawer and I've been using them to the max babies because no for real like I'm the type of person I go off of lists I go off of schedule I go off of discipline and everything has to be scheduled because I'm a Virgo if you haven't peeped but it's just like sometimes it's hard really my thing is it's figuring out what to put on the schedule so that I can be disciplined and what to what do I need to do every day to get me to achieving this goal or get me to success but honestly now I'm really about to go ahead in and buckle down on this stuff because I know that I can do it and I know that with me being the type of person that I am this disciplined person I know that if I got the right formula to actually success the formula to success then basically I can get to it but it's really just figuring out the formula baby it's like it's like the crappy party formula out here the crappy patty what the fuck where is Franklin? i don't get it <laughs> no for real though it's literally like you everybody has to figure out their own formula that will make them successful you know if you are, have a cosmetics business like me I have to basically make these certain batches of testing, well, testing batches of the colors, of the flavors, of all these things to before actually launching this product. And that's basically what I'm trying to get at. I'm um, about to go ahead in with, you know, really creating more colors and really re um, reformulating my, my lip gloss base so that there's no... Um, no color separation no like weird thickness or thinness of the lip gloss and that they're all quality the quality control is just all up there you know what i'm saying because this is going to be my second launch and i'm looking to be doing a fall slash winter collection and you know i'm really excited and of course when you're on the next step basically i want you guys to see the growth within me and my business so that you guys can um you know understand that basically i actually am putting in work behind the scenes stuff like that you know what i'm saying because that's what people like to see i just want to get into that because i want to be consistent on youtube but yeah i'm chatting right now uh, i just kind of wanted to come over here and show you guys and you know talk to you guys about that but I did not want to go on a rant or a little tangent, if you will. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that I will be doing more entrepreneurial content. I will be doing more uh, vlogs. You'll see me at this desk more. Um, doing more stuff for my lip gloss, more creative things. Also want to do more reading. And just, yeah, being more scheduled because there's this type of person that I want to be. I want to be this small business owner that wakes up and has like weekly or daily routines and schedules and a journaling i want to get back into my journaling as well and do more reading and just expand you know i really want to expand my life and really get into the life and really d dive into uh the pool of entrepreneur life and living and working from home and being content with my life in that way so yeah <laughs> i don't really know what i'm talking about so i just wanted to talk to you guys about that 
I'll see you guys in the next clip. I'm not very sure what that will be, but stay tuned. Hey vlog, so I'm about to go to Five Below. Um, I just wanted to show you guys my fit. I got these new waist beads from Etsy. So I'm excited and they look really cute. Uh, I just wearing this regular little necklace. This is a simple fit, honestly. And I just got flip flops on. Uh, also, I don't know if I showed you guys my cute little nails. These are French tip, but with a black tip. I kind of wish that she gave me a little thicker tip, but this is cute for the very first time. Very, I've never had this before. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my outfit before I go. I'm just about to go get some journals, honestly, or a planner or something like that, because the one that I have is full and they're being used by other things and I need to nothing like a fresh journal so you know if you know you know um so yeah basically i'm just going to go there to see what they got and um i'll bring you guys along i also might look up some more look for some more of these these type of um coloring books that i've been coloring in i don't I don't know if I've showed the vlog, but I definitely have showed, um, I've gone on live. Yeah, I showed the vlog. I also made a TikTok. So yeah, these are really cool books, like a collage type of book. I actually think I did get this one from Five and Below. So yeah, we're going to look up for some of these and then also journals and planners. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm hoping and praying for the film goods that you can see me. Um, but basically this is a weird angle because, um, yeah, you're still on my tripod and yeah, we're doing this in the cool, in the cool, unpackaging this little, um, thing that I got from some little piece of jewelry that I got from Etsy babies. Um, I forgot what it was. Oh, I think it's this little sun life on the ocean it's cool Ooh. ah that's cute Ooh, it is black yes it's very similar to the other one that I showed you it's a stone necklace but it's black and it has a sun pendant or orange sun pendant. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. So beautiful. Give me a second. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so cute though. Dang, if that's the case, I just hate that one out. I'm here. Who knew they had such a wide selection of um, planners and stuff? I didn't even know that. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me what would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me would you? Well baby I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl Like you This ring here represents my heart but there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side Okay, vloggy vlog Is me into it So basically, like I was showing y'all This is the necklace on So, very flattering Um and of course i went him getting these journals i went to go get a few but of course i mean like i said there's nothing you can't go wrong with a fresh new journal baby a fresh new planner period and i also found some of those um coloring books that i was telling you about i need to keep going back to five below i love five below i've been sleeping and i got a few Areas, okay, and then all right. So let me start with these. 
I love mandalas. So basically I got the mandala design, the mandalas and more. And then this one is magnificent mandalas and more. I was showing y'all a little bit of what they have in the books in uh, the store. But yeah, of course, if y'all know what mandalas are, it's basically a lot of different mandala designs. And you color them in. They're so pretty. I love mandalas. Okay. And then I have this book that I picked up last minute. It's just the uh, affirmations, 200 positive affirmations for a joyful mindset every day. Um, it says affirmations for happiness. Because I just stumbled upon this and I just was looking through it. And, you know, you can never go wrong with affirmations either. An affirmations book. So, um, I might just start flipping to a random page sometimes and just seeing, you know, reading something out of that every day. Okay, then going on to the journals. These were so freaking cute to me. These are suede. This is a black and this is a navy blue, like a dusty blue. And they have a little clasp right here and then a tassel. Um, thing to keep the pages and these is just these are just lined um, line notebooks but I just thought it was so cute and so sophisticated it's very it's giving diary but grown woman diary but make it journal we call it a journal when we're over 21 <laughs> or something okay so yeah, I got that in black and dusty blue. This is so cute. Then I got this planner, which is super adorable for 2022. Um, it's very sophisticated as well. This is a weekly planner. Uh, it also has monthly calendars in here. And then it breaks it down for on each week. They have things I'm grateful for over here. Um daily habit trackers down here and just a really great overall really great uh planner for that keeps up with the things that you're grateful for and your habit trackers and that's basically the same thing that i put in my uh journal when i use the bullet journal so yeah and then it also comes with some stickers in the back which i love and yeah space for passwords contacts love this uh for 2022 i'm just gonna save this for 2022 so i wanted to get a planner for this year the rest of this year and it says a year of gratitude positivity planner on the side and this is just one this is a really nice one too it says positive practices at the front a list of those very cute financial self-care health and relationships and then it also breaks down into monthly, a monthly view, uh, things you're grateful for, reflections, things you've accomplished, you love, um, you know, like a quote. And then it also has weekly breakdowns too. And it was like things that you want to do, you love to do, things you're looking forward to, things you need to do, a mindful moment. And yeah, so basically, um, I love these guided planners. Because back when I used the bullet journal, it was cool, but most of the time it's like I don't really know what to put in the journal. Like I need a guided journal like this one because when you're just looking at a blank page, it can be very intimidating to draw out your whole planner. So basically, I'm trying to get myself back into the, into the groove of journaling and doing more of the writing and expressing my feelings and emotions on paper and jotting down and being more scheduled like i told y'all earlier so yeah this is my way of doing that um want to be more creative as well that's why i got those coloring books and yeah i'm just really excited this i'm stepping into a new version of myself and i seem to do that very often probably every once every quarter or a few times every quarter in each year and i love it i love embracing it and that's why i feel like i love to journal too because Looking back at how my mindset a year ago or things that I've captured on video or picture a year ago is very sentimental to me. I'm very, I'm such a nostalgic person. 
so yeah i just love to look at things and reminisce and have time capsules that's why i love journals and recording oh my god yeah so anyway that's the books that i got from five below and that's probably all i'm going to be doing today so i'll probably catch you guys tomorrow or something like that. Uh, welcome i welcome back um i just wanted to end this vlog off for you guys because i didn't want it to end off abruptly let me take my hair down i just got out the shower by the way today is friday actually and i started working out again today and i honestly forgot how how good working out makes me feel uh i've honestly just really i've been sleeping but i mean it's because i had a job that was very body tasking and now that i don't work that job it's like i can actually work out for myself so yeah i started doing that and i just took a shower and i feel so empowered and just so strong <laughs> yeah but i just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what i've been doing the past few days um i think i showed you guys when i went to five below and bought this book the mandalas and more book i just want to show you guys how far along i've gotten on this very first painting i meant coloring it looks really really pretty a lot of colors and gorgeous gorgeous i've been doing more coloring um as my creative to get my creative streak out um as well as journaling and then reading as well that's not creative but more reading and i will show you guys the book that i'm reading right now because i was thinking i i've always wanted a pen pal and i've always wanted a well really more of, of a pen pal but i've also just started getting into reading more and i was thinking oh my god what if i had a pen pal slash book club or something like that with all my little fellow black girls and we all just you know we write each other notes and you know keep up with which books we're um reading and talk about the books and all that types of stuff that's just some random nerdy black girl thing that i was just imagining because there's not very much nerdy black girl youtube content at least i don't think so that i have come across yet and i want to be be that girl to put out the content so enough chatting let me show you guys this this coloring so this is it uh don't mind this over here that's how i check what color i need but yeah girl check it out in the light girl the detail i love this because it's like when you're looking at a color or a, a print like this it's like so many details you can barely tell all the details but as you start coloring it's like more details pop out and it's so pretty you know that's this is kind of a flip through of the book by the way so yeah i love these are all mandalas and these are just different designs that you can color and by the way i got this from five below i also wanted to show you guys this this is the book that i'm currently reading don't judge boo don't judge boo by the way is it did i hear anything are you judging me anyway this book i uh have had probably since high school <laughs> not gonna lie and i just i have there's like a series or whatever like that i have like the first one i have that one and then i have this one but yeah it's pretty good it's called dark secrets 2 by elizabeth chandler um it's like two two stories in one and i genuinely like anything mystery count me in I love mystery books, mystery shows, mystery movies. Like, I don't know, ever since a child, I've just always been, well, honestly, I think it's because of my mom. She used to watch like mystery stuff around me and like criminal things. <laughs> like, I don't know, CSI, that's what I'm trying to say, crime scene investigation type stuff. And that used to be like mysterious to me, but I've grown into her and it's crazy. <laughs> Cause now I just love mystery shit. But anyway, I just wanted to say, goodbye to you guys and close out this vlog here this is vlogtober week four um i will be getting into my gloss vlogs as well so that's why i hadn't really gotten much into the business content so if you do want to see that type of stuff stay tuned for my gloss vlog series three coming up in less than a week girl so yeah hit that subscribe button if you like the content and a like button as well as comment down below if you would like to do something like be a, a, a pen pal of mine or if you would like to do something like a join a book club girl join the pussy and let me know down below Bye.